Hi, welcome to Jim's Orbit. In this video, let's talk about how to make basic shapes and the different ways to work with them. To create different kinds of shapes, what you need is this tool on the toolbar. You can just long press on it if you are using a stylus or right click on this rectangle to see all of these other shapes. You can choose the ellipse tool from this menu. To draw a circle, however, you have to press down shift on your keyboard. Similarly, you can draw a rectangle and hold down shift to draw a square. Now, if you want to draw a shape with more number of sides or lesser number of sides, you can choose the polygon tool, but you can increase or decrease the number of sides just by pressing the down arrow key or the up arrow key. You can also draw a star shape. Now, one quick little feature that you can apply to shapes that have corners. Click on any one of these dots and just pull them inwards. See, it was that simple to round off all corners of this rectangle. You can also do this with a triangle. Now you must be wondering, what if you want just one corner to be rounded and not the others? Well, for that, click on the dot that you want to work with and press A on your keyboard. This is a shortcut to basically edit your point. Now you will see that it is only rounding up that particular corner. To fill colors in these shapes, you can go to the properties panel on the right. Under the appearance section, you will see these two little squares. One is for the fill and one is for the stroke. You can choose whatever colors you want for the fill and for the stroke. And you can also, of course, increase the weight of the stroke or this outline here. Now this was just about making very basic shapes but what if you want to create something that is a bit more complex than that for example a crescent shape first let me draw two ellipses placing these ellipses like that i can see that i want just this upper portion so as to get my crescent shape what i now have to do is select both of these ellipses and pick the shape builder tool from the toolbar you'll see that the shape builder tool detects sections and whatever you click on will be made into a separate shape now i can just click on each of them and drag them around as separate shapes but here in this case i don't really need the second and the third shape i just want the crescent shape on the top let me select the shapes again and pick the shape builder tool but this time i will hold down alt on my keyboard and the plus sign along with the pointer has now changed to a minus sign so i'll click and drag on both of them to be left with just my crescent shape now, if I want to fill this shape, but I just want this turquoise color that I had earlier fill the rectangle with, I'll just select the eyedropper tool and click on the color that I want. Furthermore, to create a quick copy of any shape, you just click on it and press down Alt on your keyboard. The pointer has changed to two arrows instead of one. Now you can just drag your shape. Now, just how we made a crescent shape, we can make more abstract shapes as well. For example, if I want this star to go inside of this square, I can do that with the Shape Builder tool. However, you have another method to achieve the same results. I already have the star shape copied into my clipboard as the first step. The second thing you want to do is select your square shape and go to drawing modes. The drawing modes help you arrange up your shapes together in interesting ways. What we want here is the draw inside mode. With this mode selected, you can just go on and paste your star inside the square. What this does is basically create a quick clipping mask. So the star here is the clipping content while our square shape is the clipping path. So to work on the square again, you can go, you can go to the top right in the properties panel and click on edit clipping path. I hope you were able to see the basics of how these tools work. Tune into our next videos to see what else you can do in Adobe Illustrator.